Charles Payne, host of Making Money on Fox Business, 2 o'clock Eastern. Check him out now with us. Good morning to you, Charles. Good morning. I'm your CEO. You're running these companies. You're trying to turn a profit. What to do? Well, let me tell you how appropriate this topic is. At this very second, the number one loser in the entire stock market is Dick Sporting Goods. They reported the earnings this morning. Let me read a line from the earnings, right? Uh, second quarter profitability was short of our expectations, due in large part to the impact of elevated inventory shrink. That's mm. what they said. An increasingly serious issue impacting many retailers. It's the first time the company's had to mention theft in over 20 years in an earnings report. Really? Yeah. So here's the thing. Walmart yesterday said, uh, we have other stores on the other end of that barbell talking about their universe of stores that have much, much higher shrink than we've seen historically. The common thread or the consistency in that end of the barbell is these stores tend to be located in cities where they're not prosecuting this type of crime. Mm -hmm. And so people are going in and they know that they can steal X amount of dollars. And as long as I can steal that amount and nothing more, no one's gonna get prosecuted. That creates not the best shopping experience. I thought that last line was kind of, you know, right. yeah, no that's an right. understatement. Some recent headlines, Foot Locker spirals, their stock spirals as inventory, again, uh, increased theft of related shrink. Mm -hmm. By the way, that stock's down 37% this year. Dollar Tree lowers profit outlook due to elevated shrink. Dollar General spending $100 million trying to spiff, uh, spike up their stores. And Children's Place is interesting because they're going to become a digital first retailer. And I think this is, we say, how does it impact Main Street? You either close down the shop, you know, become digital only, maybe higher security, but still you have these cities that won't even allow you to really prosecute or, or you know, push back. Mm -hmm. Here's another thing that no one's really talking about. There are five types of shrink. Shoplifting, return of fraud, return fraud, administrative error, vendor fraud, and employee theft. Some of these are also being enhanced because of that. When people see videos of people walking in the store and stealing, more I'm seeing now where companies are talking about employees are stealing more. Mm. Uh, return theft is up. Because if it's going to be a free-for-all, everyone wants a piece of the action. And what about, let's, just, let's put this on the board here. Call for number one is nine, uh, $94 billion in theft from stores. That's what we're talking about. So like obviously that makes the cost for everything else go up. But these are publicly traded companies, many of them you're talking sure. about. What do the shareholders say? Well, the shareholders are upset. In the last three months, Dollar Tree stock is down 10%. Target stock is down 15%. Dix is down 26%. Today, today, Dix wow. is down 26%. Foot Locker down 37%. What are they saying? Do something about it. Do something about it. But there's only but so much. are they doing anything well, about it? Let's go back to Walmart. He's saying clearly they would like to do something about it. But if but you're in a can. jurisdiction where there's, it's not a crime, even, even though like they, if it's a, 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 it's a crime that's being prosecuted, what can Walmart do? Can they hire a security guard? Someone's arm gets broken? They could. You know, I mean, and then next thing you know, they're getting sued. I mean, what, this is so So what is, so is the tough. prosecutors locally? This is the police. This, Absolutely. Uh, this is Absolutely. social media with the kids being able to communicate with each other to get in and out, right? So you don't have to and communicate. No one takes you don't need that. It's not organized. I know they want to call it organized. You go in the store and you take it. No one's stopping you. Do you see it's the videos? It's yeah. not organized. And by the way, most of the stuff these kids are wearing themselves. Why would I go sell something at a discount online so I could go back to Louis? and pay full price. If I get a Louis Vuitton and get myself a whole outfit, a belt and the shoes and everything, I'm going to sport it around the neighborhood. Some of this stuff, if you're still in Tide Pods, a million of those, yeah, they go online. But the bottom line is it doesn't have to be organized. We give this too much credit. It's not about the theft side of it. It's about allowing this to happen. Right. This is crazy. This is nuts. And yet, obviously, communities are going to have less stores, yeah. fewer stores, fewer drug stores, fewer department stores, fewer jobs. And I got to tell you, it's, it's just it's just an open up in a can of worms. It's so unnecessary. And they'll blame corporate America. Yeah, of course. Greedflation is right. what they'll blame. Charles, thank you. Great yeah. to have you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.